Hey, how's it going? Uh, in the process of screwing in this floor, um, I thought I'd do a quick video on kind of what the process is here. So, um, you know, if you're getting into this for the first time, you might not have the right tools. Um, this is what I have. This tool is really old. It's a DeWalt 825 impact driver. Um, this is probably the best tool, honestly, like something like this. Uh, now they have a slightly smaller battery, but it's basically the same idea. Um, this is probably the best tool to use for this kind of a job. So you're going to be screwing in a lot of screws and these things are pretty massive. Uh, you don't want to use like a drill, uh, with like a, like a Phillips head on the end. That's pretty much the worst thing you could do. Uh, you're going to, it's going to drive you freaking crazy. You're going to strip all the heads and you're going to be like, this is really hard. Um, you don't need to pre-drill these. Um, so these drills or these screws that I'm using are GRX, which is a German company. And, uh, they make these, uh, these specifically these torque um, heads. Uh, this one's this little green one, which I think is a T25. Uh, yep, and it'll even tell you right there, it's a T25 star head. So what's nice about that is there'll be no slipping. Um, Phillips or slotted pretty much are awful for that. Um, the only advantage of slotted is if you ever have to get it back out, you can always cut another slot and bring it back out. But uh, I, I wouldn't even touch that for this kind of project. Um, this is gonna be expensive. Uh, this bucket is probably 80 bucks um, and you're gonna go through it. Um, I recommend getting a slightly longer. Uh, it comes it comes with a shorter one uh, of that T25, but if you look right next to it, most of the big box stores, they'll have a slightly longer uh, one that's gonna be a little easier to work with. Um, and then, you know, this is, this is what I use for lag bolts also. Um, so yeah, so you're going to go in here and, uh, basically there's going to be a bunch of, uh, uh, joists underneath the floor. Every once in a while, you're going to have an electrical, uh, wire running through. And what I'll do is I'll screw the opposite direction to mark the position and then put something on top of it. So I don't step on that. Uh, but that just tells me, look, you can put screws into this whole area. Uh, and you're not going to hit anything except for right there where you will hit a big electrical wire and cause all kinds of problems. So we're not going to do that. We're going to make sure we've checked below, make sure there's nothing, no pipes, no water lines, nothing we're going to hit. Uh, take your screw. Um, I've started this one because I'm holding the camera, so I can't do it with two hands. This is going to be loud. I just warn you now. But this just gives you an idea what one of these does versus a drill. So... So it's in, uh, you know, I've, I've obviously recessed it a little bit. Um, I've got this little, uh, little old school nail that we've been in there for a while. So I'm just going to hit it real quick. Make sure that's down flush and, uh, keep doing that. Um, you need to do plenty of screws. I've probably gone a little overboard on some of these boards, but I don't want them to squeak. Um, I'd rather spend another 50 bucks or 80 bucks on screws and overdo it. Uh, they had to come back later and try to figure out how to stop a squeak underneath the floor that I've just finished. Um, you could use glue. I don't, I've never used glue. It's, it's more of a pain in the ass um, when the floor is already in like this. Um, it's easier just to screw it in. Now, when I put on the risers, the two by fours, I'm going to raise the floor. I will glue those because it's easy. Uh, and especially if I was putting on decking, I would glue the floor to, I glue the deck down to the floor. Um, but in this case, um, screws are more than enough. And, you know, these are actually pretty nice boards. They look terrible, um, but, you know, these are nice solid pieces of uh, pine. So um, I think a, a bunch of screws will hold it together. You know, there's a lot of checking, there's cracks here. Um, I would put a couple extra screws on each side of the crack because that's, a, that's exactly where it likes to squeak. Also, the boards will cup. So they'll kind of come up sometimes in the middle. And when you step on them, you'll hear them squeak. So after I get done with all the screws, I'll kind of walk around the floor carefully and see if I hear any squeaks. And if I hear any squeaks, I'll just get it, keep hitting it with these screws. So um, I'm using a pretty long screw. It's a four inch screw. I probably don't need that. I probably only need like a three inch screw, but it happened to be what I had. So that's what we're using. All right, anyhow, get yourself an impact driver and uh, go to town. Good luck.